So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to make the fire suit. It has some pretty steep requirements. Some parts of the video will move pretty quick. You may want to pause. In order to do some of the steps in this video, you would need to have watched the previous video on gather flora and gather poop because that's gonna be very important in this video because hunting is required. Some of the requirements will be level one tailoring, level seven carpentry, level two cooking, trapping the field guide books, leather working book, acupuncture textbook, a mining hole, tweezers, knitting nails, bug net, magnifying glass, beekeeper's hat, smoker, and scissors. You also need the hunting textbook, the binoculars, and the mammal field guide in order to get leather to progress forward through the video. I'll be going over the items required for the fire suit which will be the fireman's jacket, the fireman's helmet, the fireman pants, borax, tailoring bench, thread, long socks, military desert boots, a cauldron, welding helmet, safety glasses, latex gloves, blue or yellow, a spatula or a wooden spatula, a blacksmith apron, and 20 aluminum. You can get aluminum from breaking down TVs, electrical components, pretty easy to come by. The items that you'll actually be able to find in the world to not make are the fireman's helmet, the fireman's jacket, the fireman pants, the military desert boots, the long socks, the welding mask, the spatula, the thread, the knitting needles, the 20 aluminum, and blue or yellow latex gloves. To start off, you're gonna to wanna to make a wooden bench. You're gonna need two of these, but to make one, you're gonna need 10 planks, one extra for the sturdy sticks, 10 nails, a hammer, and a saw in order to make a workbench. You're gonna to wanna to make two, so keep that in mind. You're also gonna to wanna to make a log table, which is a saw, a hammer, a log, three units of twine. Once you have the log bench, you're going to want to turn it into a primitive research bench, which will be eight clay tablets, the log table, and some twigs. Now that you have the primitive research bench, we're gonna get the bone needle research, which is two bones and two wishing bones and one tablet, plus the research bench, which will give you the bone needle research. You can get a bone needle once you have that tablet with any cutting tool plus any bone. You can get wishing bones from birds. They have a chance to drop when butchered. You can get birds with the sick trap tablet, the hunting magazine, or hunting. All require level 2 trapping. The sick trap tablet will equal the research bench plus one clay tablet plus one twig. A spinning wheel will be required for the tailoring bench, which will require a hammer, a saw, a wooden wheel, a carpenter's bench, four nails, and five planks. Once you have that together, go ahead and make your spinning wheel. In order to make a wooden wheel, you will need to make a wooden ring from one wooden block. Once you have the wooden ring, it will require the carpenter's bench, three story six, the saw, the ring, two units of glue, and a tool. Now that you have the wooden wheel, you can go ahead and make the tailoring bench, which is the bone needle, three empty notebooks, a workbench, a spinning wheel, scissors, tape measure, and the knitting needles. From here, you will want to read the leatherworking textbook because you're gonna to need to make the blacksmith apron, which is eight hardened leather and 40% of a single unit of twine. In order to get the eight hardened leather, you will need 16 beeswax, 24 leather, one full charcoal, a clay cauldron, and a fire source, lighter, matches, notch wooden plank, or magnesium. It, this is to get a total of eight. Each hardened leather costs two beeswax and some leather. In order to get the clay cauldron, it is a campfire set, some clay, charcoal, the kiln, and a fire source, and four stones. In order to process honeycomb, in order to get beeswax, you'll need the acupuncture textbook, a wooden bucket with honey, when you craft it, it has a possible result to give you beeswax, which requires a wooden bucket and honeycomb. In order to get honeycomb, in order to do it, you will need to get a beehive. In order to make a beehive, you will need the hammer, wild beehive, broad box, carpenter bench, three honeycomb frames, one nail, one plank, and the saw. Broad box is carpenter bench, two nails, three planks, 
in the saw, and the honeycomb frame is one nail, one plank, and be by your carpenter bench with a hammer. In order to get a wild beehive, you will need to do gather flora, which is the flower field guide, the fungi field guide, and the tree field guide. Now you're going to want to make the herbless table, which will require one bowl, your carpentry bench, two clay pots, a wooden table, two nails, three planks, and to make a clay jar is three gray clay and a fire source by your kiln. In order to get the bees, you will need a magnifying glass and a bug net, and you'll be able to, be able to collect bugs, which is listed here. As you can see, the wild beehive is right there at the top. While you're out collecting bugs, you're going to want to try and get 16 honey bees, and if you're lucky foraging, get a queen bee. You're gonna to wanna to have about eight beehives made with those 16 honeybees. In order to get the honey going, you'll need a bee smoker, a beekeeper's hat, four pollen per beehive, the inactive beehive. And after about 168 hours in game, so six in game days, it will turn into an active beehive. From here, you can collect the honey. In order to get the pollen you'll need, one pollen equals the herbalist table, plus some tweezers, plus any of the flowers that you end up coming across. In order to get flowers, you will need to do gather flora. Once you have completed all those steps, you should be able to get your eight hardened leather to make your blacksmith apron. That's the longest part of the entire video to get that apron. Borax can be found by mining, either with a mining hole or mining with a pulley. Very straightforward and easy to get. Now you can finally make the fire suit, which again is the fireman suit, the fireman helmet, the fireman pants, the borax, the tailoring bench, some thread, the socks, the military desert boots, the cauldron, the welding mask, the safety glasses, the latex gloves, blue or yellow, the spatula, the backsmithing apron, and 20 aluminum. If you made it all the way through, congratulations. Now you have a fire suit. You can stop getting burned by using your kiln or your blast furnace. It just reduces it down to 10% chance of being burned, which is a lot better than regular work gloves. It took quite a bit of time in order to get this video going. There was just a lot of stuff in order to make the fire suit, just like I said in my previous video, and I did say it would be a video all on its own. Please check out these other videos if you found this helpful. Have a good one. Bye!